Today in Nigeria's history, May 18. May 18, 2004, President Obasanjo declared state of emergency in Plateau State following a Christian massacre of Muslims earlier. He also dissolved the legislature of the state and appointed Chris Ali, a retired army general, as interim administrator for six months. 1943, former National Security Advisor Ali Muhammad Gusau is born. He was National Security Advisor to General Ibrahim Papangida, President Solusegu Obasanjo, and Goodluck Jonathan at different points in time. And in 2010, the Senate approves the former governor of Kaduna State architect Namadi Sambo as the vice president of Nigeria following his nomination by President Goodluck Jonathan. The nomination was made necessary following the death of President Umaru Musa Yaradu and subsequent swearing in of former vice president Goodluck Jonathan as president. 2016, France formally returns a terracotta sculpture which had been intercepted in France to Nigeria. The sculpture was on transit from Togo to the United States when it was intercepted by French authorities in 2008. 1882, Benjamin J.B. of the Lagos Observer publishes an article for which he was convicted and jailed for contempt of court. He is said to be the first journalist to be so convicted. 1978, human rights lawyer Gani Fawaimi is detained at the Criminal Investigation Department at Alagbon and Ikoi Police Station in Lagos. He was part of the student struggle which arose as a result of the ban placed on the National Union of Nigerian Students and rustication of its leaders by the then military government, which led to his arrest and eventual detention. 1982, President Sheo Shagari grants pardon to Odumegu Ojuku, who had been in exile in Ivory Coast since the end of the Civil War in 1970. 1984, Supreme Court dismisses Bolaige's case against Victor Olu Loyo over Victor Olu Loyo's victory in the Oyo State Governorship election of 1983. Also in 2016, workers in most states of the country shun a directive by the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress to embark on a nationwide strike to protest against the hike in fuel pump price from 86 six naira fifty cobalt to one hundred and forty five naira. Today Nigeria's history brought to you by Ojara Labisi.